Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus. How's it rolling? How's it going? How are things panning out for you these days, Taurus. I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is safe and content and happy. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to jump right in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. If you're coming back to the channel, as always, I couldn't do it without you, okay? I wouldn't do it without you. It is for you. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it. I'm going to sew together a story, all right? Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. Spirit, what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please, oh, right there. Tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords in reverse. All right, Taurus, so here's what's going on. Here's what's going on, Taurus. Here's what's going on. You ready for this? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we open this reading with the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? The Ten of Cups in reverse is emotional unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction, emotional disgruntled, just just not. It's, it's, it's a, literally a card about broken home, broken family, broken marriage and just broken emotions all the way around. And it starts your whole reading. It's the first re it's the first card out, right? Ten of Cups in reverse sets the tone for everything. So this reading is about someone somewhere who has broken home, broken feelings, broken marriage, broken relationship of some sort, okay? All right, Six of Cups. This is the warm fuzzies, the warm fuzzies of the Ten of Cups, right? The Six of Cups is memories, nostalgia, good times, the good things that you remember about your past. Ten of Cups in reverse, again, is about emotional discourse, emotional dissatisfaction, okay? What is your emotional dissatisfaction about? You're not sure if you can create the Six of Cups with, with, in this situation. You're just not sure you can create the Six of Cups in this situation. Two of Swords at a crossroads in your mind, right? Can I? Can I? Can I get what I want out of this? Can I? Let's see here. The High Priestess, okay? This is your true north. This is, this is your soul, your ancient soul, your ancient self trying to lead you and guide you and show you the way of your very, very, very best and highest good. Okay? And it's talking to you, and it's asking you, very, very seriously, asking you, Seven of Wands in reverse, do you want to continue to engage in this relationship in a place of avoidance? That's the question. Because that's part of that Ten of Cups in reverse, is that it, this particular Taurus just isn't getting what they believe the Ten of Cups should be in a relationship. Seven of Wands in reverse is about not dealing with something. Seven of Wands in, in the upright is about stepping back, stepping away, trying to fend something off. In the reverse, <clears throat> it's about completely and totally not dealing with it. What? The King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility. Dis, 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 dis. Just dis feelings, right? Eight of Cups in reverse. This is emotional hopelessness. It's also a card about someone that should walk away, but is not walking away. 
Okay, back to these. So the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, do you want to continue to spend your time in this relationship in a place of avoidance, avoiding what is the underlying cause of the emotional discomfort? The Sun in reverse, do you want to go on being kind of happy? Almost happy, happy enough. I'm, 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 I'm happy enough. I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough. Happy enough to the moon. Big, huge, gigantic internal struggle. Huge internal struggle between that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you don't necessarily want to accept as the truth. That's what the moon card is about. To the page of pentacles. What's the struggle about? Well, this relationship, this broken relationship, has an opportunity to re-engage. So this Taurus is thinking whether they should re-engage with this relationship or not. To the Seven of Cups, right? Options, choices, decisions. What am I going to do? Eight of Cups in reverse. I should walk away, but I don't want to walk away, but I should walk away. To the Seven of Pentacles, take a step back and reevaluate how it is that you're growing things in your life. And that goes back to the avoidance card of the Seven of Wands in reverse, right? Okay. The Alchemist in reverse. You cannot manifest what it is that you want to manifest in your life in this emotional state of being, this apathy, this, this kind of happy, I could be happier, but it's good enough kind of happy, right? And Taurus knows this with the high priestess inside of themselves and the moon, right? Taurus is like, this isn't good enough. This isn't what I want my Ten of Cups to be. Alchemist in reverse, an inability to manifest. To the Eight of Pentacles, working, engaging, building, expectations, the Ace of Cups, yep, look, the Hierophant and the Lovers in Reverse. So what these cards are saying is that you have an inability to manifest the reality that you want to manifest for yourself as long as you are settling for something that is kind of fulfilling but not completely fulfilling, okay? It's not, whatever this is, is not your idea of the Ten of Cups, okay? an inability to manifest. The Eight of Pentacles. Um, you, you are wondering if it can be worked on, if it can be worked out. The Ace of Cups. There's definitely feelings here, for sure. To the Hierophant, commitment and obligations. Look, to the Ten of Pentacles down here, right? Ten of Pentacles, to the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. What Taurus is doing here is contemplating if they can build their future on this relationship or not. That's what this particular Taurus is doing, okay? If, if, if you want your own cards read, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Otherwise, take this all with a grain of salt, okay? Don't make any life decisions off of my readings or anybody else's general readings, okay? All right, so Taurus is really contemplating if they can work this out. They, they, they truly, truly are, because there is feelings here. It's just not the way that Taurus envisions it being. And the lovers in reverse. You and this, it's here twice, right? You and this person just are not on the same wavelength. You're not on the same wavelength and you're not on the same vibe, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, the foundation, building the foundation um, of life, the Hierophant, right? Building the foundation of life, the King of Pentacles, being um, in a position of success, being in a position of, of, of domesticality and success, your idea of comfort, domesticality, and success, right? To the Two of Wands, the future contemplating. How are you going to go about doing this? This particular Taurus has big plans. This particular Taurus is a hustler. This particular Taurus is motivated. This particular Taurus is in a place in their life where they're really thinking about their future and how they want their future to be. And this particular Taurus is completely reevaluating that they are investing in this relationship 
Three of Wands in reverse. Lack of foresight, right? Right? Lack of foresight. What you don't see coming, Taurus. What you don't see coming in this particular situation. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Coming out of the cold. The Nine of Wands. Resilience and persistence. And the Three of Cups. Reuniting and getting back together. The person that's on the other side of this reading, your person on the other side of this reading, is not going to let this fall easily, okay? They are going to be somehow in your face um, wanting to get back together, to get back together, to get back together, to get back together. Then we have the hangman in the center of the reading, right underneath that king of cups in reverse, right? You have felt like this for way too long. That's what the avoidance is about in the Seven of Wands in reverse, right? You have felt like this for way too long because it's comfortable. Back to that Six of Cups, okay? It's comfortable. And Taurus likes comfortable. They do. They like comfortable. And change doesn't come easy to a Taurus until it's their idea. And that's what the hangman is about, right? You've been thinking on this for a long time. And then the Eight of Swords in reverse comes on top of it and says, it's in your best interest to, to have a new perspective, to come to terms with a new perspective that happy enough isn't happy enough. Yep. Judgment, conscious, cognitive, serious, drop dead decision. The lovers in reverse, that this is an unviable relationship. You guys aren't on the same frequency. You aren't on the same vibe. You don't share the same ten of cups with each other. Mm -hmm. Hard line decision, new perspective to the star in reverse, because this is not your path and this is not your purpose. Being happy enough is not good enough. It's not your path. It's not your purpose. You have to follow your inspirations and your aspirations. And if you are in union with someone who is like a wet paper towel on a candle wick, then you have to reevaluate things. Because passion in your life, being passionate about your relationship, about your job, about, about humanity, about your spirituality. Being passionate is what brings satisfaction to people in life. And the star in reverse on top of judgment to the hangman says you got some serious decisions that you need to make right here. To death on top of the lovers in reverse. An ending Deciding that your self is more important. Deciding that the survival of yourself and your ideologies about what the Ten of Cups is for you in your life, in your marriage, and in your relationships is the most important thing. Death is an ending, an absolute ending. What happens upon death? Well, there's a transformation. Your energy is expressed in this human body. And when you die, your energy is now expressed in a different element. So what this is, is a growth opportunity for you, Taurus. This is a growth opportunity to choose to not settle for anything less than your Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Bring an end to this. Choose the path of your best and highest good. Follow the guts of the High Priestess right here, right? And it will transform your life into what it is that you truly want instead of settling for something that is kind of what you want. Ace of Cups in reverse, heart feelings, repressed emotions, the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is letting go of a burden, letting go of a burden. What's the burden? The Nine of Cups in reverse, just like the Ten of Cups in reverse. Emotional unfulfillment. Uh-huh. And the Queen of Cups. And Taurus is really, really, really taking this whole situation very, very spiritually. And if you're not, you need to. 
okay? The Queen of Cups is ancient soul that has ancient wisdom, your ancient soul that ha contains your ancient wisdom, knowing in their heart of hearts and in their soul of souls that this is the best course of action for their lives. There's no anger, there's no hate, there's no anything. It's just as simple as your idea of the Ten of Cups and my idea of the Ten of Cups are not the same Ten of Cups. And because of that, it would be a waste for us to continue to try to create the Ten of Pentacles with each other because we don't share the same Ten of Cups. That's that Queen of Cups right there, right? She's like, thank you for the journey. Namaste. And Four of Pentacles, right? Security, control, power. Power, personal power, okay? I don't mean like power, power. This is personal power because four is stability, right? He's got personal power, personal control over himself. And he is setting his eyes on becoming the emperor, pulling himself together and knowing that he is doing absolutely what he should be doing for not only his best and highest good, for but for his future best and highest good. Mm -hmm. The emperor is executing on the outside of his life what the empress has created on the inside of her life, right? The empress comes from the magician and the high priestess, which are both in that top row right there. The magician's in reverse, right? The magician is what you think about comes about, right? And if you continue to think that this is just all right, then it's just going to be just all right, right? What you think about comes about. Look, the magician right there in my hand. I didn't even realize it. What you think about comes about. Your intuition is your soul pointing you towards your true north in the, in the high priestess energy. The empress understands this. The empress, empress understands how to bring all four of her elements that make up the human nature into heart center and project them towards what it is that she needs to create in her life. Mm -hmm. And she gets that from the magician and she understands that her intuition is always pointing her towards her true north. And she combines the two. She begins to manifest towards her intuition. Uh-huh. And guess who she becomes? She becomes the emperor. Somebody who executes on the outside, builds their life on what it is that they have created on the inside with the empress energy. So this particular Taurus has some serious manifestation on the mind. This particular Taurus is trying to hustle. This particular Taurus maybe just wants to work right now. Maybe that's part of the Ten of Cups. Maybe that this particular Taurus just wants to hustle and make money, hustle and make money, hustle and make money. And to do that, you really can't have a full-blown relationship unless you're like a power couple and that's that's like your thing is like working together or something but you really can't because when you're in that phase of your life where you're just hustling and hustling and hustling and hustling it is all consuming and a relationship needs time a relationship needs to be procured and perhaps that's why the ten of cups isn't matching up with these two people because Taurus is trying to achieve something and the relationship isn't viable enough to compromise what Taurus is trying to achieve because King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse says that perhaps Taurus's ambitions are causing contention in the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of Pentacles. To the Two of Cups, to the Emperor again, and Strength right here, okay? What this is, is Taurus is saying, and I know the Emperor is Aries, okay? I understand that. I understand what all of these cards are. But we're talking Taurus. This is the Taurus right now, okay? Um, this Emperor is deciding that he is going to overcome 
this deficiency in this relationship and he is holding out for a true blue viable relationship where there is teamwork and collaboration the queen of wands where both people are success oriented to strength again strengthening each other and and working towards one big common goal emperor to strength again the king of pentacles taurus the card of taurus i know some people say it's capricorn but for me it's taurus and that's how it is in this reading it's a taurus this is success it's grounded success and this is what taurus is looking for taurus wants to be a king of pentacles to a queen of pentacles a king of wands to a queen of wands an emperor to an empress mm -hmm. a queen of cups to a king of cups and for whatever reason this relationship isn't providing that the queen of swords the queen of swords comes on top of this and says decisions 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 what are the decisions the eight of pentacles in reverse unmet expectations the queen of pentacles and the empress in reverse unmet expectations that this person can be the queen of pentacles that this taurus needs for his or her queen of pentacles for his or her queen of pentacles okay there there is a disconnect you know why there's a disconnect because this empress in the upright i mean in the reverse this empress in the reverse is about a creative block so what these cards are saying is that for this particular taurus they can't create what it is that they need to create in their life because this person can't participate okay two of wands and that leaves Taurus looking in the future ace of swords with an aha moment two of swords in reverse right coming out of this two of swords right here right coming out of a crossroads at the mind and focusing on success overcoming the battle and focusing on success two temperance in reverse and the five of pentacles in reverse temperance in reverse is an imbalance five of pentacles in reverse again goes back to that other five of pentacles in reverse up here about coming out of the cold okay this is saying that taurus will be vulnerable to this person's resilience and persistence to get this relationship back together again okay eight of swords in reverse new perspectives remember the new perspective remember what we talked about here remember how it's the soul's journey remember i don't know if y'all can hear my dog but he's dreaming like crazy over there this is the soul's journey this is more than just right now to the eight of wands eight eight double eight right on movement action change change new perspective throws you into the wheel of fortune mm -hmm. the divinely orchestrated steps of your life your path and your purpose this taurus deciding that they are going to follow their true north that they are going to follow their true north and manifest accordingly puts them in alignment with universal order and universal order takes place in their life the wheel of fortune a massive turning point what's that turning point well it's the next phase in the next chapter of taurus's life yes bottom of the deck the king of swords in reverse again somebody who's angry the tower in reverse averting disaster the princess of pentacles in reverse can't grow what i want to grow here to the king of wands to that queen of wands right can't grow what I want to grow here I'm focusing on the success of my life the success of my future and quite frankly being emotionally apathetic and not having inspiration for this situation is keeping me stuck and I choose I choose to follow my soul path I choose to be true to myself and I will not settle for less 
than what I think the Ten of Cups should be. Yep. Yeah. There you go, Taurus. There you go. I hope that someone enjoyed that. I hope you got something from it. Again, if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org because you don't know until you know. Okay? You don't know until you know. And y'all, uh, I hope this uh, helps someone. Check out my book in just a second. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now while you listen to this. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life. This book is part of my spiritual journey and its purpose is to plant the seeds of yours.